Hi, for those of you who do not know me, I am Lauren Glassman. I'm co-founder, board member, and 50% shareholder of CrossFit Inc. Those who do know me, know me as equal partner to Greg Glassman in all things that have brought CrossFit to where it is today. CrossFit is my life's work. My feelings for this company and this community are as equally deep as my feelings for my own children. I have every reason to want success for CrossFit and the affiliate community. In fact, like you, I am an affiliate and will continue to be an affiliate with the amazing team here at Captain CrossFit. When Greg and I decided to divorce more than two years ago, it looked like we saw eye to eye on all matters, including CrossFit. I hope that Greg and I would continue to work alongside one another to help CrossFit grow. To this day, like you, I believe Greg is a visionary. Some have claimed I made the decision to sell 50% interest in CrossFit to get back at Greg. Some have said I rejected better offers from Greg. Those statements, like so many things you have heard, are completely false. It is correct that I have a definitive contract subject to court approval to sell my interest in CrossFit to Anthos for $20 million payable up front. It is also true that after reviewing Greg's offers, both my financial advisors and I didn't feel they were in the same universe as the Anthos offer. In other words, my decision to sell to Anthos instead of Greg was not motivated by spite, but rather because I felt it was a way better offer. The reason why I decided to sell 50% interest in CrossFit to Anthos Capital in particular is because I believe it and Brian Kelly are the right people to take CrossFit to the next level at an important point in time. When I met with Brian a few months ago, he gave me the confidence that he would make a great partner for CrossFit. His interests are perfectly in line with mine. He is an avid CrossFitter himself and has shown the personal success we want and passion we see from our own members. He respects, believes, and indeed is a product of Greg's vision and wants to support it so that it will grow, not replace it, or Greg for that matter. He has interest in the professional management and additional support of the affiliate community to strengthen Greg's vision. I felt that when we talked one-on-one -on -one, that we were very like-minded. I felt that Anthos would do a great job of assisting CrossFit in getting it to its next level of success, which fundamentally is founded upon supporting the affiliate community. Ultimately, I feel really good about the partnership between CrossFit and Anthos, and I think the affiliate community will feel the same as they get to know Brian. So I'm here today with Brian Kelly of Anthos Capital. Uh, Brian, I thought today we could talk about uh, some of the concerns that have come up through HQ and the affiliate community about your nice business relationship. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about yourself in terms of your business and Anthos? Yeah, sure thing. So um, I co-founded Anthos in 2007. Uh, along with some colleagues that I've worked with for a very long time. Um, we're a unique firm. We only invest our own personal capital. Uh, that lets us be a, a very long-term, patient investor. We don't have any ties to you know, third parties, uh, and so it, it lets us really just think like owners and do what's the right thing for, uh, for whatever business we invest in. Um, you know, I became interested in investing in CrossFit because I, I am a CrossFitter. Um, you know, I love CrossFit. I've been doing it for the past two years. Uh, it's, you know, I'd always been an athlete growing up. I played, you know, wrestling and, and football in high school. I uh, did some triathlons after college, but, you know, kind of in my late 20s and early 30s, I, you know, just didn't work out as much, got a little bit out of shape. Um, you know, the last two years with CrossFit has completely reversed that trend. I'm in better shape now at 34 than I was at, you know, at 24. And, it's due to CrossFit. And, and how did you come across CrossFit? Um, one of my colleagues actually from work uh, is a CrossFitter who introduced me to it. Several of my colleagues from, you know, from Anthos uh, CrossFit as well. Okay. And, you know, I've just been so impressed with the community and, uh, you know, what CrossFit does for your fitness. You know, this is a big part of my life. And, you know, it's something I'm really proud of and I'm really passionate about it. You know, so I understand that the affiliates in this community are the driver of member success and the driver of you know CrossFit's overall growth. Brian, what is it that's most important for the affiliate community to know about you and Anthos? Um, I want to be crystal clear on this. There's been a bunch of talk about me wanting to uh, you know turn affiliates into franchisees, force them to sell supplements, apparel, equipment, things like that. That is, those assertions are 100% false. You know, I think there's been a variety of misconceptions about, you know, Anthos trying to take a control of, you know, CrossFit and the CrossFit affiliate system. 
that's just completely false. Um, you know, first of all, uh, you know, we're not buying control. We're, uh, you know, we're buying uh, subject to court approval, your 50% interest. Uh, second of all, our style is not to be a control investor. We don't want to control companies. Uh, we want to empower the founders and the, the management of companies to lead the businesses. And we want to provide, you know, help at the board level really in whatever way we can, you know, throw out different business ideas, try and be creative, but ultimately, um, you know, we, we believe it's up to the management and the, the founder and CEO uh, to make those calls. I think what makes America great is entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs drive economic growth in America. I see affiliates as a bunch of entrepreneurs. Right. The last thing I want to do is tell these people how to run their business, uh, tell them to, I mean, tell them to sell supplements or anything. I, I don't own any you know, supplement companies. I don't have an investment in any fitness company, any fitness product company, any supplement company, nothing to do with uh, the fitness industry. This would be my only investment in the fitness industry. Uh, and no, none of those companies have any investment in Anthos. Anthos is all, you know, my partners and myself, it's our own personal money that we invest. So, you know, we're free and clear from any outside influences. The reason I'm interested in investing is just 100% simple. I see millions and millions of CrossFit members in the not too distant future. That will be made possible by very motivated entrepreneurial affiliates. Those affiliates are who make people like myself fit. Um, they're people who you know can build a business in their box and you know deliver results for their members, make some money at the same time. All of my ideas. Uh, would be to figure out ways to support and make affiliates more successful. Uh, again, I'm not going to tell anybody to do anything. Um, you know, in the past, I've you know suggested that maybe some tools could help affiliates uh, better run their businesses. But my view is that those tools should be completely optional and not forced upon affiliates. You know, I want to do everything uh, that I could do if I you know become a part of CrossFit to empower affiliates, not tell them what to do but serve them so that they can you know, do, do even better. I mean, that's how I see this. Uh, it's the affiliate's job to, you know, to serve the members, to make the members as fit as humanly possible. It's HQ's job to serve the affiliates. Exactly. And then if I invest, I'll do my best to you know, help and support HQ in whatever way I can. The other thing I guess it's important to, to point out is that um, because we only invest our own personal capital, uh, we really can think like an owner. And so we can take, uh, we have investments where we think that the, uh, the correct holding period is over 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, just because that's when we think the market will come to us. We can hold an investment as long as we want. Well, I was surprised at some of the um, comments and rumors that came out because they seem to not make any sense. If, if you're an investor in a company, you want that company to succeed. Obviously, CrossFit's had a lot of success doing what we do today. Yeah. And that success at the heart of it is the affiliate community. So I, to accuse you of wanting to come in and truncate what they could do or change their licensing agreement or do anything rash like that just seems like ridiculous. Why would you want to come in and do that and threaten everything that has built the company to what it is today? So